Hey, it's Steve with Putnam's Kitchen again. Having been a meat cutter for over six years, I had a little bit of experience in the field of grinders. And this grinder right here is one that I'd like to recommend. I found it on Amazon. It didn't break the bank. It's as good as a four or five hundred dollar meat grinder and it only cost me two. So it's the Turbo Force 2. I'll put a link down in the description. Now let me get to telling you why I like it so much. Okay, now the name of this meat grinder, as you see here on this, it is, says it's the STX International Turbo Force 2. It says it's quad air cooled electric meat grinder. Now, what are the features about this that I really like as a meat cutter? Well, the main feature I like was it has a foot pedal. Yeah, a foot pedal. And in the meat, and when you work in the meat department, all professional meat grinders have a foot pedal so that you have both hands free for stuffing sausage and holding the, the container or whatever you're going to do. You have both hands free. You can run it, turn it on and off with the meat, with the foot pedal. And it's got these switches up here if you don't want to use a foot pedal, but you can turn on the switch on low or high so that when you hit the foot pedal, it either grinds on low speed or high speed. Some of the other things I liked about it, these little cutter blades. A lot of them come with one cutter blade. Yeah, they're always stainless steel, but a lot of them only come with one cutter blade. And then after they get dull, what do you do with it? I don't even know where you go to get these sharpened. But this one came with not one, not two, but three. So that's a bonus. Plus, it came with three different sausage stuffers. Got the big one, the medium one, and the small one. This would be like for breakfast sausage. This is like, I use this for a bratwurst size sausage. I found this one a little too big. The, when you slide the skins on there, they don't want to go on. They don't want to come off because plastic is not as slippery as the metal ones we use in the real meat department. It's got this nice stuffer stuff to pack stuff down in it with. The tray comes off. It's really easy cleaning. Everything's easy cleaning. It comes apart really easy. And one more thing comes with six, six different cutter heads. Now, this one's not necessarily a cutter head. That is what you put in there when you make the sausage. It just has to have something in there to hold the knife in. Now, this is your very coarse grind. Like if you're going to grind something into a fine grind, you want to run it through this first so that you get a good mix and a good cut. This is the ultra coarse grind. It makes a nice coarse grind. This is the one I really like. This makes a nice chili grind. And for burgers and such, I personally prefer this one. Now, this is not the kind you get at the grocery store. It's coarser than that. But it, this makes a really nice burger like you'd find at a um, steakhouse. It's more of a steakhouse grind. And then, of course, it's got the plate for the fine grind, for like you find in the, in the grocery store, the fine grind hamburger. It's got all kinds of nice features. It's really solid. The only complaint I have about it, and I think all of them have the same complaint, it's loud. Yes, it is. But on the bright side, unlike most of them, since it has a foot pedal, it's not running constantly. It's not running constantly. It's only running when you're actually pushing down the foot pedal. So while you're up here feeding meat down in the hole, it's not constantly running, which tends to get the meat hot in the end down here and makes it mushy. If it, do, if it doesn't have meat going through it, if it gets plugged up or something, you can just let your foot off the pedal, and then it doesn't do that. And it comes apart real easy for cleaning. The head comes off. There's that other knife. Pull that right out. Loosen this nut. The whole head comes out. Yeah, you've got to hand wash it because it's, um, it's not stainless steel. It's aluminum. But that's not really a big deal either. So hopefully this has given you some ideas, something to think about when it comes to buying a meat grinder. And I hope that you will get this kind simply because I did a lot of research on this and I think you're going to love it. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. Give us that thumbs up. We really like those thumbs ups and check us out again next time. Thank you. Hi, this is Putna. If you enjoyed that, click right over here for more low-carb recipes and reviews. And if you love the channel, please click right here to subscribe. It really helps. And thank you very much for watching.
please be assured we here at Putnam's Kitchen appreciate every minute you spend with us.